Hello and welcome to this week's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Franco Rotoli and today's tip is going to be the first in a series of six tech tips. If you missed our SOLIDWORKS 2017 rollout event, each one of the presenters took about five minutes to share some cool tips and tricks. Here are mine. First off, I want to talk about cleaning up the SOLIDWORKS user interface. You can see here that I have many toolbars shown and my graphics area is fairly limited. There is a lot of clutter and can be confusing to the eye. Most of the toolbars here are on the command manager, so we can get rid of them. I can also use small icons to gain even more real estate. Using F9, I can hide the feature manager and take advantage of SOLIDWORKS breadcrumbs if I need to access a feature. I will also be using my S key to access a fully customizable menu where I can add all my commonly used tools. Now, isn't that better? Now that we're in a sketch, see how fast I can access my line and arc tools using the S key. I'm just going to sketch some geometry here really quick. Now that the geometry is done, I need to start adding dimensions. Another quick shortcut that I use often is a mouse gesture. Mouse gestures are activated by right dragging. You can customize these as well through Tools, Customize. Notice they're different whether you're in a part, assembly, drawing, or sketch. If you don't feel like dimensioning the entire sketch, there's always the Fully Defined Sketch tool. This will automatically add dimensions and relations to fully define my sketch. All I have to do is modify the ones that need to be changed. Finally, I need to add a tangent relationship to this intersection. With a fully defined sketch, this is going to overdefine my sketch. Rather than undo or troubleshoot the sketch manually, SOLIDWORKS has a tool called Sketch Expert. With Sketch Expert, I can diagnose and scroll through all the different options to fix the sketch automatically. I settle on the one that I want, click Accept, and then the green check mark, and I'm ready to move on in my design. Those are my tips and tricks for this week. Stay tuned for the next five tech tips in this series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.